Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 25th to the 31st of January 2021. So let's pull your overarching energy and see what we get for the week. So what do we have for Aries please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Aries. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I've got the devil. Let's clarify this devil, please. Germany, a card of Capricorn. The Hanging Man. Two major arcana there, Aries. Okay, so what do we have for Aries, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Aries. Thank you. Thank you. I've got the card of innocence. Angels, what is the message for Aries, please? What is the message for Aries? Thank you. Oh, this is beautiful. And kind of what I was feeling with the innocence energy we have, spread your wings. Archangel Ariel, do not hold back right now. The time is, re is perfect and you are ready to soar. Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards. The first card is your challenge or issue for the week. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is the outcome should you take the advice. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message Aries. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. <clears throat> so I have the Five of Cups. King of Pentacles, card of Taurus for me as a reader. Can be Capricorn, Virgo as well. Um, or the energies of somebody who represents that. We have the sun, very nice energy at the end, so at the outcome. So let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Aries. Thank you. Message for Aries. Thank you. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Aries, Angel Spirits Guides? Thank you. 25th of January to the 31st of January 2021. Thank you. Yeah, we have the Ten of Wands. I mean, it doesn't surprise me with that Five of Cups. King of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Swords, card of Libra. The Sun, we have the Two of Cups here. And there you are, Aries, Queen of Wands. Male or female energy with all the court cards. So King, Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands. It, it feels in this, you know, there's definitely male or female energy. <clears throat> it is a general reading. But there's an energy of spread your wings. The devil, yeah, I mean, this can be a card of, of boundaries, limitations, feeling something is beyond your control, being trapped, codependency, addiction, unhealthy relationships in whatever context. <clears throat> For some of you, there is definitely this kind of energy, Aries, of... You have the, I mean, this, the devil can be the shadow self. It's a feeling of restriction, things beyond your control. Can also be a card of ego. Can be a person in your life or a situation that feels beyond your control. And it generally feels quite negative. Um, sometimes it can be unhealthy attachments, like I said. In whatever context, it's an addictive energy. 
<clears throat> and the hanged man is a card of being stuck. But the needing to look at something in a different way. Because it feels if you keep on looking at something the same way, you remain stuck with that devil. So there's a need for a new perspective here. And that's what I'm definitely feeling. Because the hangman is a card of alignment. How you move forward in your world. The illumination from spirit, God, the universe is given to you with a hanging man. But you need to surrender. Um, yeah. It feels looking at something in a different way. I have to say as well, Aries, I mean, sometimes the, the hanging man, it, it can be a card of, of sacrifice. It can be a card of what do you have to give up in order to move forward. So that might resonate with some of you interesting energy and again it's to do with things that are unhealthy something that you have to give up now the innocence card is an interesting one i mean if you have i'm really getting this energy of if you have been dealing with a shadow situation and again this idea of sacrifice that I keep on getting and again it's something that's burdened you for a period of time I mean you're being t there could be an energy of you're innocent you know it wasn't your fault so I don't feel whatever this situation was was of your own making you know it, it feels that there's a kind of innocence there but again, this can also link to new beginnings, innocent, the purity of a new beginning, you know, that kind of energy. But I'm definitely feeling this energy of purity, purging, wipe the slate clean, that kind of energy. But also I'm feeling in this situation something wasn't your fault. And it's something that you have struggled to move on from. And you're being told in this, and, and you're, generally with the devil, you know, I always get a lot of energy of break free. And that's what you're being told to do. Break free. Spread your wings. Now is your time to soar. Because this is your light. This is you coming back to who you are. The queen of wands. Male or female energy. In your power. So I love the energy that you're appearing in your reading. At the, e at the end of the reading. Which is the outcome. Because she's very future facing. She's not interested in what's gone. And yet this is, and it feels to do with you, carrying the burdens of the past. Five of cups can be to do with loss, like can be lost jobs, lost relationships, lost friendships. I mean, call it what you will. Um, in whatever context, it feels it's something that's been difficult to move on from. Loss, regret, feeling pessimistic, something getting you down. I mean, there's levels to the five of cups. But it's interesting that I'm seeing the three cups that are spilt on the floor, yet there is hope in the situation. There are two cups behind you that you are not seeing right now. That's so interesting because I'm seeing the two cups here. So it feels like someone is of influence in your life, but you're not seeing them. Hmm. The... Ten of Wands is a card of carrying burdens of the past. It's time to lighten a load, spread your wings, liberate yourself from a situation that hasn't been healthy for you, that isn't doing you any good. You need to look at something differently. You need to look from the past, look from the negative and focus on what is positive, on new hope now. It could be with a person, Aries, I have to say, because... It's striking that I'm seeing the two cups related to these two cups here. This is about the hope that's there for you now. All is not lost. There is still hope. And I definitely feel in this situation, for some of you, there is definitely new hope. But you're being told to break free of something that is not healthy and move forward to something that feels very pure and beautiful. 
The Queen of Swords is about getting perspective. She rises above the clouds and confusion and sees the truth of the situation. And that's what the Hanged One is asking you to do. You know, this is about a balanced judgments, balanced perspective, seeing the things for what they are, the reality of the situation. And, you know, this King of Pentacles, I mean, he is a sign of stability, security, safety. On how something isn't serving you anymore and how something or someone has the promise of stability, security and safety in your life. I mean, I'm definitely getting this kind of energy. I mean, it can also be communication with somebody in terms of money career. I mean, the King of Pentacles understands how to manifest money. Very successful leader in terms of money career business. Um, very disciplined, you know, so it could well be for some of you, it's that kind of energy or a person. But the Queen of Swords is a card of getting clarity, seeing the truth of the situation, independent thought, balanced thought. Can also be some direct communication here. So it could well be this King of Pentacles is the, the hope that is of influence in your life here. Male or female energy. Either some communication or seeing somebody. Or the potential of somebody. You know, because the Queen of Swords will only take a chance or move towards something that she sees a success in. She's a calculated energy. You know, she only acts and, and, and goes for that which is going to be successful for her. You know? that which adds to her power, you know, it's that kind of energy. So I'm definitely feeling this King of Pentacles is, it feels influential in your life. Okay, now there's too many there, there's too many. Let's clarify this King of Pentacles. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't surprise me I'm getting that, the Ace of Cups. Yeah. <laughs> There's somebody in your life here, Aries. And, you know, I have Libra, I have Taurus. It could be energies, people who represent those air signs, earth signs. Um, but it definitely feels there's new love or a new opportunity with them. You know, King of Pentacles, like I said, it could be in terms of money and career, it could be in terms of love. But what it's doing, it's releasing you from the devil energy, from the past that built up over a period of time. And it feels that there is something new to focus on. Maybe some direct communication with somebody or some judgment call that you're making in cutting free or cutting the cords of the past. I mean, she brings down that sword and she cuts the cords and definitely there's an energy of something new coming in when you do. There's definitely this energy of make space for the new because the Ace of Cups is the new beginning. So we have the Two of Cups, a bond between two people. This can be an offer. It can be a new love. For some of you, it can be an offer or an invitation. You know, the cards remain the same. The message remains the same. It is a general reading. Um, so whatever this loss was, there is a new, there is still hope. There is a new offer, invitation, either in love or either to do with, could be to do with money career. What is going to bring you stability, security, something that you can trust? Because the sun is shining on it and the sun is divine energy. It is good news, celebration, joy, happiness. But, and it's, the sun is a liberating energy. It is absolutely liberating. It is overcoming, challenging, putting it behind you. It's a card of release, letting go and stepping into your power, stepping into your light with full clarity on where you're going now. It's feel good. I mean, there's growth, there's vitality. Things are beginning to happen here. And it's to do with this, the Two of Cups. So either in terms of love or offers, invitations, opportunities, um, and like I said, it's a bond between two people, kindred spirits, like-minded people. So, you know, on whatever context this is, there is what it's doing is it's putting you back in your power, putting you back in control of your life. The Queen of Wands is a leader. She's the warrior queen. 
Um, and this, this is the card of decisive action, confidence, determination, courage, conviction, call it what you will. But she is absolutely somebody who understands how to bring growth and success into her life by the actions and decisions that she makes. So definitely an energy of action, taking action towards this path and moving on from the past, whatever this devil was or whoever this devil was, could have been a person, it feels that you're finally turning your back on the situation and that's what you're doing. That's what you've been asked to do by the angels. Spread your wings. Because for some of you, there's so much better ahead. There is hope ahead. And that's what you're being told. But make sure you're focusing on the right thing. Because, you know, the hanged man is about new perspectives. The need for a new perspective, a new approach. You know, in order to do this. Yeah. But I definitely get this energy of... I'm, you know, she appears sometimes when something hasn't been fair because she is a sign of fairness. You know, she is the fair judgment, you know, uh, and she appears because obviously her counterpart is justice. So she is always on the side, side of truth and fairness here in the situation. So I definitely feel for some of you, Aries, if something hasn't been fair, it feels in this situation things are getting rebalanced by the universe you know definitely this energy of i don't i honestly don't think this was your fault whatever this situation was it doesn't feel like you were to blame even though you're carrying the burden with you you're carrying a burden of something that wasn't your fault i have to say uh, and, and you're struggling to move on from something that you weren't to blame for or certainly fully to blame for and it feels like you had the brunt of the responsibility and I'm saying the blame and I don't know why I'm saying that but obviously that will resonate with some of you I say things for a reason in tarot so it, it, I feel like I feel like you had the brunt of this burden to bear and I don't think that was fair and things are being readdressed because of that you will have an opportunity to lighten the load and make space for the new because you're being released you're being released by divine energy and coming through the other side of a situation and it's going to feel so good because that's what the sun is all about the most positive card in the tarot deck growth new growth everything becoming clear it's a card of success it's a card of fun positivity vitality abundance yeah very good for love, very good in terms of, of um, money and career as well. You know, the sun. It's all about growth. Uh, definitely this kind of energy of liberate yourself from something that doesn't seem to have been your fault. And that's what I'm feeling a lot. You know, we have intuition, starfish. Listen to your soul's truth. Think less, feel more. Because <laughs> the feeling, your feelings are leading you towards this. You know? And I'm going to pull one more, Aries. Rabbit. Sensitive soul. Strengthen your boundaries and cut cords. And do you know who is about strengthening their boundaries? The Queen of Swords. She is about strengthening her boundaries and cutting cords. You know? This is who is allowed in my space and this isn't who, who is allowed in my space, you know? Uh, and it's interesting that she's got her back to this Ten of Wands, which I feel is quite interesting because, you know, it's almost kind of like, you know, that is not part of my life anymore. So definitely that kind of energy. And we have Tiger, Divine Timing. Good things come to those who wait. Yeah. Love the energy. And again, I, I do feel for some of you, you have been in waiting. You know, this hanging man is a card of waiting. Uh, you know, waiting for the new perspective, things to unfold. Call it what you will, but it definitely feels for some of you, things are beginning to unfold this week and it feels very beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you, Aries, and I will see you next time. Thank you.